Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. Here you can see me, so most of you, all my cyber babes will recognize me. And, and this is just a short introduction. Rather than saying it, I'm showing you it. Please subscribe by hitting the red button, subscribe, and hit the bell and click on all. Then you'll be notified when I'm live or when I'm... Uh, do, uh, have uploaded new videos like the daily videos or the weeklies or the monthlies or any other new videos you can find out more about me uh, under about and you can find my email address there as well and under every video now the playlists uh, under playlists you have a uh, lots of different videos um, but under announcements you can find a video uh, for example more information on how to like and subscribe or to put on the subtitles okay I'm just going back um, just very quickly because uh, I don't want to make this introduction video too long and I will go to videos and choose a video from there and I'll show you what you can also on the main page you can find buddy advice here and other links and it will take you directly to the uh, Facebook or Twitter or Instagram okay then we have the video here underneath the video like I always say you can subscribe but I'm subscribed here and I've got the notification if you don't want to be notified then hit the bell and click on none and you'll see that you will not be notified if you would like to unsubscribe then click on subscribe and unsubscribe in the pop-up here you can leave your thumbs up and that is very important so that YouTube keeps us up in the ratings and here you can share if you click on share you can click on any channel you can even um, send it by mail or you can just copy it and uh, with your right mouse button and uh, it will be copied and you can go to your email or uh, whatsapp or messenger and share the video with anybody personally or openly um, you can also save the video and you if you don't like the video then you can also unlike the video you can leave your comments underneath the video i'll show you that i'm under a video here's the video and here you can leave your comments okay now if you see three little arrows that's new then please go to the subscription and the title the definition of the title is continued here okay because I find that there's not enough room in the title uh, under the video so be aware of that and if you would like to find out the um, email then have a look in the description box and there you can find charlie's angel tarot at gmail.com i hope you found this in uh, this little video informative and skip this video if you already know the routine and i hope to see you in the live sessions take care be blessed and together we stand strong love you all my cyber babes please share and like thank you Hi Leo, I'm Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Buddy Advice on Facebook and this is your reading for the 14th of October to the 20th of October and I'm using the Witch's Tarot in uh, connection with Halloween and I'm using my favourite cards, the Lenamon. I'm also using two Oracle cards and that's the Healing from the Angels and the color cards. So let's begin. Remember, this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, then look at your rising sign and your moon sign. Okay. Um, I hope, uh, remember, this is food for thought, just to make you conscious of the what energy is around you, because you 
make decisions and choices and that is how you stand in your power okay and that's how you can change the present and the future on monday the 14th you've got the six of cups you might be reminiscing or thinking about the past and perhaps you are going to meet somebody from the past and give them a gift or they will be giving you a gift you um, have the Lenormon card as a clarification card and you've got the whip and the brush, the broom and well they used to whack people when you were bad at school I can remember those days you got caned okay um, so you might have had an argument with somebody in the past and they're coming back to see you or you are going back to see them and bring them a peace offering or they will be bringing you a peace offering because they've been thinking about it and they rather like you much better than that silly quarrel you had. So give them a chance and I hope they will give you a chance if it's vice versa. In the middle of the week we've got the Ace of Wands and the Wands stand for passion, logic, action and creativity. You might actually start a new enterprise, something that you're passionate about. Might You will come into action and you might make it your work. So it could be a hobby that is actually becoming your job. You might be getting a new job. You might be uh, having a, a new hobby. You might be meeting a new person. This person could be a fire sign and remember they are very active. Um, know your boundaries and show them your boundaries. Let them know what your boundaries are. Um, because let passion is of a short period and love is for durability and long term. So if you tell them what your boundaries are and you know what their boundaries are, then you can make a good compromise and you can make this relationship last once you are a fire signs once you've stolen the heart of a fire sign they'll never let you go <clears throat> but you are a fire sign yourself so i don't have to tell you what you already know you love with all your heart and all your being okay in the bot in uh, beneath you beneath the uh, ace of wands you have the house so it could also be a new house and you <coughs> excuse me it could also be a new house that you are buying or renting and you are coming into action to make it your dream house wow if that is not the case the house means security, protection, feeling safe, and it also means that you can isolate yourself from the outside world. Don't come into action and go and mingle, go and network, make friends, okay? The door is closed, but the gate is open. Don't expect everybody to knock on your front door. You have to go out there and actually mingle perhaps that was the argument uh, with you with a friend from the past that you never visited them and they only came to you so learn your lessons and uh, from the past so that you go out there and don't shut yourself away at the end of the week we have the eight of cups you are bored with the same routine, the same things that you know, um, how to cook, how to dress, uh, go to the same job, uh, go and meet the same people. You are bored and you're looking forward into the horizon, dreaming of new beginnings. With this card, I always say, don't throw anything away before you, don't throw, don't throw the old away before you get the new shoe, don't throw old shoes away, sorry, before you get a pair of new shoes. But obviously something is gnawing at you 
perhaps you've lost something. Yes, you have lost the excitement of life because you're bored with what you know and what you've got. You want adventure and excitement. So that could be gnawing at you and that's why she's standing there looking into the distance. You might have lost something or somebody might have pinched something. You might be really, really stressed out at the moment and you're bored of that. So I would say if you've got any uh, people around you that can help you, ask them for help. Don't shy away for help. Many hands make light work as mice always help each other and work in groups. If you've lost something, help ask people to help you to find it. You certainly will. And at the end of the week, we have the Three of Swords. You might have lost something, like I said, you might have lost your heart to somebody in the beginning of the week, or you, that could be the past, because we've got the past uh, card here as well, and they might be coming back, like I said. And I think it is a past love, something that you love or passionate. It could be a, a hobby, that you don't have enough room in your house at the moment for your hobby, or you have moved from a house to high rise and you can't have the garden anymore. Perhaps you're sad about that and that's what you're reminiscing about. There's plenty of ways to get back that garden. Go and have, um, how do you call it, an allotment. You can always seek um, an allotment and you can hire a garden a little plot of land and you can meet people there so you can go outside and meet people you love the outside world most probably if you love gardens if it is a lost love then it could be a lost pet it could be a lost person it could be something that you've lost in in general well don't um don't worry it it will get better, okay? Something new will come in and most probably much better as the heart is also lying uh, underneath this card. So you could be meeting a new love, like I said, midweek, and that could be a fire sign. So don't worry, perhaps the loss is a love or somebody that you loved or something, but it is coming back in in which way it could be a person it could be a thing it could be a hobby or a job and the all over energy for this week um leo is the ten of cups like i said it's short-lived because the energy is happy families being reunited um happy families you might be reunited with family or friends or a specific friend if you've got a question will he be back or will she be back i think so because you've got the anchor and in england you've got uh, the anchor the cross and the heart and that is hope faith and love and the anchor here also for me represents that a little bit i always have to think of that charm have faith that love will return. Okay, the anchor is hope. So have hope, have faith and love. Love yourself first, otherwise you can't love anybody else. And in the Lenormand it means yes, coming home to a safe haven. So you are coming home to a safe haven and your in steadfastness. That means that you'll stay there. So you are coming home to what you are wishing for. There will be a reunion. There will be healing as you've got the answer of the angels. There will be healing. If it is somebody that's passed over, um, yes, that's sadness. But somebody else will come in to give you a new love and, and other form of love but also very prominent and uh, an act of love 
and a prominent one that is important that will change your life as 10 is also a new beginning. Then you've got Cyan. Build your self faith up. Build your self faith, faith, faith up. And it's 35, so it's 8. So you will be standing in your power by the end of the week. Like I said, don't throw anything away before you get something new. Okay? Sometimes it's out of our power um, if somebody passes away and we are sad, but we have to pick ourselves off, dust ourselves, stand up, dust ourselves off and continue. There is plenty of family and friends around us to help us get out of our head and our sadness. Just be aware. Ask for help. Don't, like I said with the mouse, mice, together, okay? And the family is together and friends. Don't shy away for help. Don't close yourself off. Ask for help and heal. In the heal card, you've got two people. Somebody might have just said, right, lay your head down, cry if you need to, I'm here for you, okay, and heal. And build up your own self-trust, worth, worthiness and love again. And believe that everything will be all right. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, sweetie, and take care. And give me the thumbs up and remember... If it doesn't resonate with you, go and have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign. Take care and I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. Thank you and be blessed. Sorry, I just got my words mingled because it's quite an emotional reading. I wanted to say, together we stand strong. Just remember, don't shy away to ask for help and then you can heal. Ciao, ciao. Be blessed.